2,075 points, 620 rebounds, 327 steals, and 934 assists. Thanks to TJ Cooper, these are the total numbers that the Bobcat men's basketball team found vacant at the point guard position heading into the 2013-2014 season. With Cooper no longer a Bobcat, Ohio has turned to the point guard tandem of Stevie Taylor and Javaris Bean Willis. The two juniors have had their ups and downs this season, but regardless of their play, they've been a crucial part of the success of Jim Christian squad. It's been a learning process for both of them because the, the, the role is new for both of them. They've done as well as they can. They've obviously had some huge roles and some big wins, and then they've had some moments where they've learned about that position. That's what those guys doing but even though the two guards find themselves playing the same position on the court, it's how they got where they are today that really separates the two Bobcats. For Stevie, he served as DJ Cooper's backup and a key bench player for two years before finally taking over the reins at the point this season. And even though he's not putting up Cooper numbers, he's still proving to be a threat offensively, averaging just under nine points and three assists a game. Well, there's a huge difference between coming off the bench and providing a spark and being the everyday point guard and, and being in those uh, pivotal possessions on both ends of the floor. You know, the thing I love the most about him is that, you know, you can talk to him about something and he'll, he's pretty, he understands it and he tries to put it into play. Every day is different, you know. You gotta come to practice every day, you gotta be the head of the snake, you have to practice hard all the time. Uh, it's been a lot of wear and tear on my body, but, you know, I, I knew that coming in. You know, playing more minutes than I did last year, it's just a big adjustment. Bean, on the other hand, sat out all of last season after transferring from Texas Tech, where he started at the two guard for the Red Raiders. But even though Willis has Big 12 basketball experience under his belt, the transition to Ohio hasn't exactly been a flawless switch. After two-thirds of his first season as a Bobcat, Bean is averaging under five points a game and shooting under 40%. He's made some great, great plays, had some great moments, helped us win games, and then he's had some moments where, you know, he's just struggled. So I think that's part of, that's part of being a college athlete. Transferring is hard because you have to sit out a season and, and you have to kind of get everything back. But, but uh, you know, moving forward, he's a big piece of what we're trying to do. I ran more of a system uh, at Texas Tech, and you know, here is kind of you know reading reaction. I don't know, maybe it was different, you know, different type of defenses and, and, and stuff like that, uh, opposed to the Mac Conference. Despite the growing pains on the court, the guard duo have built quite the rapport at the position as a whole. It's been easy for us. I mean, me and Bean are good friends, so it's not like. He feels some type of way and I don't feel some type of way when I come out. So it's just, you know, we, we, we have a good bond and we have a good connection to where if I need, I need rest, you step in. I have total confidence that he'll do that. Me and Stevie, we more the same. We more of, you know, uh, scoring point guards. And it just, we catch each other, you know, in practice sometime where he sees something different than what I see. Regardless of how Taylor and Willis perform the rest of the season, they'll both be back in an Ohio uniform next season, which should keep Bobcat fans more than excited. You know, you'll see more of us playing together next year at, at the same time, so you'll really see it a lot next year. But just keep the same good mindset and, you know, just do whatever it takes for the team to win. With every player that comes back, it's, it's, it's what have you learned from the experiences you've had this year and how do you take that into the spring and, and work and develop your game and, and add new layers. And, and that's what it's going to be about for those two guys. If they do, they're going to have great senior years.